This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. To bypass Fast Play, select the main menu button at any time. Fast Play will begin in a moment. you want a kiss? Kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> I am Prince Nervin. Of Maltonia. Prince? I was cursed by a dastardly witch doctor. One minute I am a prince, charming and handsome, cutting a rug, and then the next thing I know, uh, I am dripping over these. Everyone thinks they know the story of the princess and the frog. You must kiss me. Excuse me? Please, princess. It will make me human again. Just... one kiss. Unless you beg for more. But no one knows what happened after the kiss. <sighs> Until now. How did you get way up there? And how did I get way down here and all this... <gasps> this holiday season... Tradition of Walt Disney's most beloved classics. <laughs> Comes the story behind the most magical kiss the world has ever known. It's gonna be good! <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures The Princess and the Frog. Come, we pack her. <laughs> That's new. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a... <clears throat> Doing? I was just gonna have one bite. I swear. Dude, you know those are for the jolly one. He knows if you've been naughty or nice. And that's pretty naughty. Yo, the big dog won't come inside if any puppies are awake. Quick, hide! Santa Claus! Disney Santa Buddies. Coming soon to Disney DVD and Blu-ray High Def.
Hello, I'm John Musker, writer-director here at the Walt Disney Animation Studios. And I'm Ron Clements, and, and I do the same thing that he does. Uh, in fact, we work together. We've worked together for quite a we, while. We've done a number of movies together, including The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. And those movies, of course, did feature princesses. But we're here today to share with you our latest princess, Princess Tiana, in... The Princess and the Frog, based on the classic fairy tale, The Frog Prince. But we've taken some liberties with the story. We've added a lot of comedy and adventure and excitement. And we've made this set in New Orleans in the 1920s. And in fact, music is such a part of New Orleans heritage. We made this film a musical. Characters sing, they dance, and the music ranges from gospel to blues to Zydeco to Dixieland swing music, all that's in there. And it's composed by the Academy Award winning Randy Newman. And we've peopled this movie with a whole new fun cast of characters. Lewis, this jazz playing alligator, 300 pounds, big wacky guy who plays the trumpet like nobody's business. And we've got little Ray on the other end of the spectrum, a tiny little Cajun firefly who's gonna fly into your hearts when you see this film. And Mama Odie, she's our voodoo fairy godmother. She's 200 years old, but doesn't look a day over 198. And we've got Dr. Facilier, our bad guy who can cast some spells on people that we can't really talk about here. Turns people into nasty things. You'll see him too. And this is a hand-drawn animated film, a process that Walt Disney pioneered with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And Disney hasn't made a film like this for a few years, so we're very, very excited to bring it back. And it's exciting for us to be able to share with you a sneak peek behind the scenes of The Princess and the Frog. In fact, we're going to show you the first six minutes of the film. You're going to see the first half was in color, much the way you'd see it in theaters, but the second half we're still working on, so you're going to see it in progress. You'll be able to see the entire film all in color this holiday season when it comes out in theaters everywhere, providing we get it done in time. We have to get it done in time. We will get it done in time. It's almost done now. The sooner we finish this, the better. Please, watch the clip.
If you like DVD... You may want to see this. ...then Disney Blu-ray in high definition... Hold. Speak. ...will blow you away. <laughs> wow. Perfect! You look gorgeous. Beautiful. You hear that? It's the winds of change. Nice move. Disney Blu-ray, bringing families together with the magic of high definition. To learn more about Blu-ray, head over to the bonus features menu and click on the Sprouse Brothers. Ah, uh, you want some high definition? Oh yeah! Oh no. The movie you're watching right now is magic. And the magic continues after the credits. Just look inside your DVD or Blu-ray disc for the magic code to start earning points toward fantastic rewards at DisneyMovieRewards.com. Over 100 years, the government has trained and deployed animals as espionage agents. But now, there has been a breakthrough that goes beyond anything that science had imagined. A covert espionage team known as G-Force. This is a rodent. We are official agents of the FBI. Holla! Agent Blaster. Weapons and transportation. I'm pretty sure this is animal cruelty, but I love it! Yeah! Agent Juarez. Martial arts yeah. with a secret weapon. Was hot like me. Agent Speckles. Cyber intelligence. I'm setting up a worm to decipher. You're a genius. I'm a mole. I got a thing for worms. Agent Darwin. G-Force team leader. The fate of the free world rests on my shoulders. Uh-oh. Ah! This might be a good time for a nap. Time to get this party started. Get dangerous. Whoa! Uh-oh! Tuck in your gut! I am! Get ready for a motion picture event. Like no other. You just got out driven by guinea pigs. That was off the hoods up. G-Force. of all time. The only animated film to be nominated for best
Best Picture and the winner of two Academy Awards. Now, for the first time ever in high definition, Walt Disney Pictures invites you to be our guest. Be our guest with our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Bonjour! 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 Hello! Walt Disney Pictures proudly presents Beauty and the Beast. I want adventure in the great white somewhere. She's the one, the girl we have been waiting for. She has come to break the spell. For the first time ever in a Disney Diamond Edition. Would you look at that? <laughs> Gaston, big like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I wanna dog at Gaston. Beast. Hello. I love her. You must tell her. I love you. The tale as old as time is new again. on Disney DVD. A holiday movie is just around the corner. Yahoo! All you need is a train to get there. All aboard! Let's go! Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey's Choo Choo Express. What? Choo Choo! Take a ride with Mickey and the Clubhouse crew. Vroom, vroom. Up to make all your wishes come true. The perfect touch. With fun new bonus features. Hot dog! From the hit Playhouse Disney series. We're gonna choo-choo boogie. Choo-choo! Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey's Choo Choo Express on Disney DVD. We interrupt this broadcast for a special weather bulletin. The snow continues to fall. All schools, all stores, all roads will be closed until further notice. In other words, we're snowed in. What? Oh, no! Gorge, Mickey. If we're snowed in, how are we supposed to get home to our families? Aw, don't worry, fellas. You've got family right here. All of us. Hmm. I always wanted a duck for a brother. <laughs> oh! Ah, Join Mickey Mouse and all your favorite Disney friends in a full-length animated movie, Mickey's Magical Christmas. a place where you get to dive right in, take aim and ride, and it's your dance too, where you really are a princess or a pirate, and pixie dust shrinks you to the size of a fairy tale. There is a place where dreams come true, Disney Parks. At Disney, we're known for having a fantastic legacy built on unforgettable experiences. But equally important are you, our fans. And as a way to say thank you, we've created D23, the first official community for Disney fans. We hope you'll join us as we share the magic of Disney's past, present, and future. Welcome to the enchanted world of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs.
Hi, I'm Don Hahn, the producer of Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King, and I'm here at Disney's Animation Research Library, where researchers from all over the world come to study the artwork and the documents that we create in the making of Disney animated films. You know, there's over 60 million pieces of artwork here in this building, so there's always a possibility that something new and previously unknown might show up. Today I want to share with you what we think is an absolutely remarkable discovery. In the process of doing research for this diamond edition of Snow White, a really unique piece of Snow White history was uncovered. It was in this box that there was a folder that contained a small bunch of story sketches, the first of which said, Snow White Returns. Further investigation led to finding more story sketches, enough to see the arc of a storyline. Sequel to Snow White? Could it possibly be? A press release from the Disney studio prior to the completion of Snow White relates that the artists working on the film were so convinced of the appeal of their characters that they were begging Walt to put these newly created characters into upcoming productions. So what about these story sketches for Snow White Returns? When were they created? Why were they made? A very likely theory is that these story sketches for Snow White Returns were created after the movie was released and that it was probably intended to be a short rather than a full-length animated feature. We do know that following the amazing success of Snow White, that there was a great demand from the viewing public for more cartoons with the dwarves. But we also know that two major sequences that were developed for Snow White were deleted from the final film. These two sequences happen to figure really prominently in the story outlined by these newly discovered images. The soup eating sequence was dropped from Snow White in November of 1937. Walt cut it even though he loved it because he felt like it just slowed down the story. The bed building sequence was the second deleted scene. This sequence is a series of gags as each of the dwarves and some of their animal helpers build parts of the bed in their own unique ways. Ward Kimball was the directing animator on both the bed building and the soup eating sequence. He often said that Walt Disney gave him the character of Jiminy Cricket in Pinocchio as a consolation for the months of work he put into these sequences that ended up on the cutting room floor. Perhaps Snow White Returns was considered as a way to make use of these near final but beautiful animations. Whatever its history, it's still fun for us today to reconstruct these storyboards for Snow White Returns to see what might have been. In the following presentation, we've included abbreviated versions of the scenes that exist in pencil animation, but you can also see these deleted scenes in their complete form by selecting them from the menu. Now here we go, let's take a look. Following the title card, you see the seven dwarves marching off to work, singing a song, undoubtedly, hi-ho, hi-ho. Hi-ho, 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 it's home from work we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho. And then we cut to a long shot of the dwarves marching off to work. A bird appears in the sky carrying something in its beak. And the bird swoops down over the dwarves and holds the piece of paper in his mouth right in front of Doc's face. And Doc takes the paper out and takes a while to kind of focus on it. And now that he's focused, we see what he sees. Dears, I'm coming tomorrow for my annual visit, Snow White. Doc tells the others that it's a letter from Snow White. And they're all overjoyed with the news. One of the dwarves says, we'll have to give her a surprise. And the dwarves all agree. Yeah, a present, a present. And they sing and dance around. A present, a present. We're going to give her a present. Well, one of the dwarves asks, but what'll it be? And the other dwarves echo, yeah, yeah, what'll it be? What'll it be? Oh, why don't we make her a... A bed. That's it! A bed! A, a bed! bed. The dwarfs say, there it is. Finished. All of a sudden, an enticing smell wafts through the air. And Dopey receives the smell in kind of Morse code. Led by their noses, the dwarfs follow the scent to the cottage with Dopey taking up the rear, as he always does. They look through the window and see Snow White, and she's cooking. And they race to the door, and they're like really thrilled, and they burst into the room. Snow White greets them all and gives Dopey a kiss on the forehead like she always does, and of course he blushes, like he always does, and all the dwarves laugh. 
The scent of cooking soup draws the dwarf's attention. And they look back to Snow White for permission, and Snow White nods her head, and that's all the signal they need. So, after all the excitement, Snow White says, well, don't you think that's about enough for tonight? And suddenly Doc remembers, oh, oh, oh but, but, but wait, 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 we, we have a surprise. They tell Snow White to stay put, and they leave the cottage. One of the dwarves pops his head back in and tells her not to peek, and she assures him she won't. She covers her eyes with her hands. Outside, six dwarves position themselves to lift the bed. Grumpy just stands aside watching, and Doc says, all right, together now, men. Ready, set, go. They strain and strain, but the, uh, the bed doesn't move. And Grumpy harumphs, well, a fine bunch of petunias you turned out to be. Your bed's still growing. They look up at one of the bedposts and see a fresh little sprout coming out of the top. It's only then that they realize that the tree trunk from which the bedpost is carved is still rooted in the ground. Yes, sir, we forgot to cut it loose. What do we do about it? Better start sawing, Grumpy says. Well, meanwhile, Snow White is waiting patiently in the cottage. Oh, and she yawns. I wonder where they could be, she says. Night's fallen. The dwarves haul the bed to the front door of the cottage, and Doc admonishes them. Easy now, men. He opens the door, and they all rush in and yell, Surprise! Their jaws drop as they survey the room, and it's empty. They tiptoe in, and to their great surprise, she's gone. Where is she? I don't know. They look around, even checking under the rug, and one dwarf, looking through the bedroom door, calls to the others, look. We cut to Snow White asleep across the dwarf's beds. The dwarf, who looks through the door, calls down to the others, she's asleep. The other dwarves come upstairs and see Snow White sleeping peacefully. They leave the room quietly, and Dopey closes the door behind them. But one of the dwarves is left behind, and in hurrying to leave, he smacks right into the closed door. The other dwarves yank him out, and they say, shh. The dwarves hold a conference at the foot of the stairs to determine their next plan. Grumpy sarcastically suggests, why don't you bring her out to the bed? One of the other dwarves suggests, well, maybe we ought to just surprise her in the morning. In the background, Sleepy is already getting tired. And he pokes the mattress, and they all say, yes, let's surprise her in the morning. And at the word morning, they all scramble for their places in the bed. Dopey's trampled in the rush, and he gets up from the ground, and he sees the other six dwarves nestled comfortably in bed, taking up the entire mattress. So Dopey runs all around the bed, looking for a spot to sleep, but there isn't any. He finally dives under the blanket from the foot of the bed. As he worms his way up, another dwarf falls out of one side of the bed. That dwarf gets back into bed, which squeezes the dwarf out the opposite side. This cycle of one getting in and forcing the other one out goes on for a long, long time. And kind of perplexed, the animals from the woods watch this really odd scene of dwarves repeatedly getting squeezed and out and out and in. We then cut back to the bed where now we see six dwarves sleeping side by side with Dopey sleeping at the head of the bed, spread out across the pillow. We iris out. The end. If we know very little about why Snow White Returns was started, we know even less about why it ended up in this box. Whatever the reason, we're lucky to have discovered this missing piece of history from the golden age of Disney animation. So thanks for joining me here at the ARL. See you next time. Actually, the real reason we're here is to tell you about an amazing new way to watch movies called Disney Blu-ray. Oh, 
It's more than just a way to watch movies. It's an immersive experience. So's a bath. Why can't you get excited about those? Wait, that's a Blu-ray disc? Looks just like a DVD. Disney Blu-ray discs and DVDs may look identical, but they're actually very different, kind of like the two of us. Right, Blu-ray is incredibly cool, like me. Okay, but it also holds a ton of information, like me. Hey, I hold plenty of information. I meant useful information. He's got you there. <laughs> okay, but thanks to Blu-ray's protective layer, it's strong and tough, like me. Ow! Oh, a popcorn kernel. Mm, it was unpopped. You see? And most importantly, all your favorite Disney movies are available on Blu-ray. And because Blu-ray discs have five times the capacity of regular DVDs, they have a much better picture. Thanks to their brilliant 1080p resolution, they offer the best in high definition. You want to see high definition? Kapow! Anyway, on top of that crystal clear picture, Disney Blu-ray features the best high definition immersive sound. Up to 7.1 surround. So you can enjoy a cinematic auditory experience. Plus, you can really crank it when your brother uses words like cinematic and auditory. Dude, we want the movie to surround us, not the police. Wow, surround sound is cool. Now I know what my neighbor means when she talks about hearing the voices all around her. Mm, she has a Blu-ray player? Sadly, no. And with Disney Blu-ray, you get exclusive interactive games. Aye, and I fancy a round of liar's dice from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, where I'd be matching me mad gaming skills against legendary pirates Pintel and Raggedy. I don't give a grog. I'm playing the Cars Car Finder game, where you search for cars hidden within the movie. Ah, ka -chow. One down, 216 to go. Erg! You best be handing over that remote. Village sucking land lover. <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's see what you got. Yeah. <laughs> Arg. You know, you don't look like a pirate. You just look like a one eyed girl. <laughs> <laughs> Even the chicken's laughing at you now, laddie. <laughs> Give me this. Okay. Oh, oh, oh please. Hey, that's enough. Don't make me ground you boys. Once again, only our mom on TV. Does this look like a face that cares? Ooh. No, ma'am. Okay then, back to Blu-ray. The best way to watch movies in high definition ever. This is the last chance to make our mark. History will know who we are. This is the last game, so make it count. It's now or never. And you can even play all your regular DVDs on your Blu-ray player. In fact, they'll look better than they ever did. Okay, Blu-ray sounds great, but I bet it's a pain to set up. Mm. Nope. All you need to connect a Blu-ray player to your HDTV is one cable. It's called HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface. See? Even Dylan can do it. Wow! One wire! Nice! No more cable spaghetti on the floor. No, just real spaghetti. Ooh! Dibs! Okay, I'm convinced. And a little disgusted. Blu-ray player and one cable. Yup, that is all you need to unlock the power of your high definition TV and immerse yourself in the ultimate picture, superior sound, and amazing interactivity. Wow, the whole family can enjoy Blu-ray together. Big time, it puts the family back in family room. Yeah, now if only I could get you to put the bath back in bathroom. Okay, I get it, jeez. Learn more at DisneyBlu-ray.com. Disney Blu-ray. Magic, Magic in high, high definition. definition. Tinkerbell. Look for these and more of your favorite Disney titles on Disney Blu-ray. Disney File Digital Copy sets you free. Now, you can watch your favorite Disney movies whenever and wherever you want. Are you ready for this? When you buy a special edition Disney DVD or Blu-ray with Disney File, simply take the Disney File disc, insert it into your computer, and follow the easy on-screen instructions. And well, relay instructions. In just minutes, the transfer to your computer or video-enabled portable device is complete. Your Disney movie is ready to go. I feel alive! Wherever you go. Quick. Fun and easy.
Disney File Digital Copy. Your favorite movies anytime, anywhere, in just minutes. To find out more, visit DisneyFile.com. Look for Disney File Digital Copy in these and other special editions of your favorite Disney Blu-ray and DVDs. You are about to embark on an adventure to save Snow White. As you face each challenge, you will have to make a choice. To make your selection, use the arrow keys on your remote control and press Enter. If at any time you wish to leave the game, press the menu button on your remote. Good luck! Welcome. If you have come seeking the Queen, you are too late. For she has left to find Snow White. And not for afternoon tea, I assure you. Snow White is in great danger. For what the Queen wants most is to be fairest in the land. She has issues. But it's not too late to save the fair princess. Why else would we have a game? The forest animals have alerted Dopey to the Queen's plan. One dwarf is no match for the Queen's powers. To save Snow White, you must help Dopey perform tasks and gather the other dwarfs. But beware, the Queen has cast a spell on the mine. I'm afraid there's no free ride here, my friend. Keep your arms and legs inside the cart until the adventure has come to a full and complete stop. Pleasant journey. Three stories, but only one is true. Whatever is a dwarf to do, only the right version will give you the win. Now choose the correct story, or start again. And away we go. Right or left, left or right. Chart your course, continue your plight. In other words, choose a switch. All the dwarfs were musical, they say, and happy could sing and dance. Match each dwarf to the instrument he plays, if Snow White is to have a chance. Three wrong answers will send you back. How do you like that apple? Congratulations. An intelligent selection. That's using the old gray matter. Hail to the one with the keen mind. Excellent display of intelligence. That's using the old gray matter. The Queen provides another surprise, but a solution exists before your eyes. Your trip will be a lot less bumpy if in the rubble you find grumpy.
an intelligent selection. Excellent display of intelligence. Excellent decision. An intelligent selection. Ah, look what we have found. What's that sound? Another dwarf you have found. Now you have five aboard. Shall we shoot for two more? Diamonds glisten like stars in the night. But can you connect their dots of light? You can indeed, if up to the task. As each diamond glows, a question is asked. Each correct answer provides you a sign and a piece of the puzzle you will find. Ah, but there's something else that you should know. One wrong answer, and it's back. You go. It may be golden, but it gives sneezy fits. <gasps> a fine deduction. After her escape into the woods, who was first to approach the exhausted Snow White? <gasps> An intelligent selection. After a dirty day in the mines, who refused to bathe before dinner? you? I have described Snow White as follows. Skin white as snow, hair black as ebony, and lips red as what? The rose, by any other name, the correct answer. To transform into the witch, the queen uses a potion containing a scream of fright, a hag's cackle, the black of night, and which ingredient to make her old? Mummy dust. Hail to the one with the keen mind. More tunnels with stories to tell. Only one is fine and well. Choose the correct Snow White seal, or you'll be left to face the Queen. Trust me, don't go there. Now uh, let me see. Two dwarves plus dark times happy. Divided <clears throat> Congratulations! You've gathered all seven dwarfs and broken the Queen's spell. Onward to save Snow White. The spell is alive, and you have wandered into my little trap. Now I am in control, and your destiny lies with me. Pity you can't save Snow White now. Enjoy the ride, for it will be your last. <laughs> to save the dwarfs one and all, find something to cushion their fall. Only one item will soften the blow. But first, 
a detail you'll need to know. The color of dope is pillow. Sorry, best I could do on short notice. the queen. Now everyone can live happily ever after, and I can take that vacation I've been planning. And all thanks to you and a dwarf named Doki. White and the Seven Dwarfs is more than a great picture. It's a thrilling experience in happiness. It's color, music, laughter, and romance all wrapped up in sunshine to make your heart sing. Adorable Snow White, warm, human, waiting for her Prince Charming. The Seven Dwarfs, pompous Doc, the self-appointed leader, Bashful, who is afraid of the girls. Here is Sneezy. This is old, droopy-eyed Sleepy. And Grumpy, who thinks he's a confirmed woman-hater. And there is Happy with his beaming smile. And last but not least, wonderful, silly Dopey. You'll never forget them or stop loving them. so charmingly different from anything the screen has ever known. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A glow with the warmth of characters all the world knows and loves. Beautiful Snow White. You'll just have time to wash. Wash? Fearless Doc. Our house. The lip slice. The life slip. Blushing Bashful. Oh, gosh. Explosive Sneezy. <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. 
ever snoozing sleepy. Hard to get. Lovable dopey. And there's Prince Charming, the Heartless Queen, <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing. again for your entire family, the lyrical, light-hearted entertainment of Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Magic milk on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Snow White. Featuring those beguiling Disney characters loved by everyone. And of course, this is Grumpy. Mush. Here's Doc. <laughs> why, 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 yeah? And Bashful. Oh. Sleepy. Hard to get. <laughs> and this must be. <laughs> Sneezy. Happy? That's me. And this is Dopey. He don't talk none. <laughs> you mean he can't? He don't know. He never tried. Then, too, there's the terrible witch. Have a bite. Here's a happy treat of fun and musical fantasy that lasts forever. Enjoy this delightful experience in happiness. See Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Coming this summer to theaters everywhere. Hey, look! The motion picture event of the year. What is it? Why, it, 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 it's a girl. The 50th anniversary of Walt Disney's timeless classic, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Come celebrate with the fairest of them all, the merriest of them all, and the scariest of them all. It's the golden anniversary of Snow White, Sleepy, Doc, Bashful, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, and... Sneezy. Ah! Snow White! We 
you got a saber? Whether it's your first time or your 50th, now is the time to experience the magic Munch. of the most beloved animated motion picture of all time. A true story. A love story. Where we will live happily ever after. Walt Disney's classic, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Opening July 17th in 42 countries worldwide. animated motion picture of all time is back in theaters. How do you do? How do you do? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hey! The Queen! Snow White! Oh, we got to save her! Oh! This summer, come celebrate the wonder, the romance, and the magic of Walt Disney's all-time classic. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, still the fairest of them all. Before evil sorcerers cast their spells, before perilous rulers would be kings, before wicked witches ruled the sea, Was an apple. Dip the apple in the brew. Let the sleeping death seep through. The one that started it all. Make a wish. I wish. I wish. And take a bite. Then I'll be perished in the land. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now available on Disney DVD and video. I summon thee. 